Hi, Stuart Fraser, PGA Professional at Snainton Golf. Today we have the first in a series of short game instructional videos where I want to teach you how to control the trajectory, the distance, the accuracy and the consistency of strike of your chip shots with just a couple of basic principles in how to set up to the golf ball correctly. This should help you lower your scores significantly. The first thing we need to learn when chipping and pitching a golf ball is how to control the low point of the golf swing because this affects not only the strike but also the trajectory that the golf ball comes off the club face with. The way we control this is by narrowing our stance slightly. Now if we do narrow our stance, it's going to be an awful lot easier to control that low point and hit it at the correct part of the swing every time and have the true loft of the golf club on the back of the golf ball than with a wide stance. If we widen our stance, the weight shift is more pronounced as you swing the golf club and there's always a chance of returning back to a position with the club shaft leaning forwards and the low point forwards or the club shaft leaning backwards, the low point backwards and that will cause miss hits. But also you can see how I'm adding loft and taking loft off the golf club which will, will create a completely different trajectory of shot and make the ball go either further or less distance. So then you won't be able to judge how far the ball is going to go and what length of swing to make. The other important thing to remember is we're going to actually try and open our toes up slightly towards the target. Now the reason why we try and open our body up towards the target is purely because of the fact that we want to be accurate and this is going to help us to control the distance as well but also the direction. So we're going to be able to control our landing point more accurately. If I was to bowl a ball down there you would never see me trying to throw or bowl a ball down there with my chest square onto the golf ball here because that would be really difficult to be accurate. What I would do to try and be more consistent is I would open my body up towards the target and naturally I would then try and throw that golf ball down there and I'd get much closer every single time. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slightly open my toes up, however I'm going to keep my shoulders square to the target line. Next of all, the shaft of the club just forms a nice straight line down towards a golf ball so it's vertical and then I'm just going to rock my shoulders backwards and forwards with very little wrist hinge and hit a perfect shot. Basically using the natural loft of the golf club helps you to use the, the wedge or whatever golf club you're using correctly and by correctly I mean that when the shaft is vertical the bounce on the golf club that you hear a lot of people talk about actually comes into contact with the ground first. Now if I start leaning the club shaft forward and getting my hands too far ahead of the golf ball what will happen is the sharper edge of the golf club will contact the ground first and that will make the club dig into the floor instead of the bounce contacting first and the club bouncing and skidding along the floor giving you a more consistent strike. I believe this is a more consistent method for the average club golfer every amateur to use than leaning the hands forward, getting your weight on your left side, basically promoting the sharp edge of the golf club to dig into the floor. What you will see out on the golf course is people using a variety of different techniques, both successfully and unsuccessfully. I mean, can you hit successful chip and pitch shots with your, your club shaft leaning forward and your hands forward? Of course you can. But you've just got to remember that this is going to come off the golf club a little bit lower and with a little bit less control than what it would do using the natural loft of the club and the shaft more upright. Also, obviously, that's not going to bring the bounce into play anywhere near as much. So you've just got to remember that that's going to be a little bit more difficult to get a consistent strike than it would be with the technique I'm telling you about here, which is shaft more upright, natural loft of the golf club at impact. Basically, whichever one you're using, leaning the club shaft forward or using the shaft vertically, just make sure you hold that all the way through the swing. Hold that angle and you'll get a consistent strike and the same trajectory every single time you strike the golf ball. Once again, I hope these tips have been helpful and slowly but surely we're managing to piece together a short game technique that's going to be more consistent, more accurate and lower your scores when we eventually manage to get back out onto the golf course. I'd love to hear your comments in the box below again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and there'll be more videos coming from me really soon.